Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Please introduce yourself and oh, tell us what you study. Yeah, now my name I'm Morgan Mashaw Mudimedi, uh, a vendor boy. Uh, I study uh, education. I'm doing my BA, uh, BED degree. Yeah, my PED degree. Uh, my name is Sandy Lezaza. Uh, I'm studying BCom Law, majoring in economics. Okay, the future looks bright, gentlemen. Eh? Yes, it looks very bright. So, thank you for giving us a bit of your time. I just wanted to know if you guys have heard of Bhagavad Gita. No, we've never heard of that. No. Hi. Never, never. Not even once. Take a look, Mr. Zaza. Never seen this book? I've never. So this book is about 5,000 years old. Can you believe it? It's a conversation. Yeah. Conversation between Krishna and a prince called Arjuna. Krishna is God and Arjuna is like uh, a warrior who was part of the leadership. So Gita, Gita means song. And Bhagavad means the song of one who owns everything. Gita doesn't mean that they... No, Not that just Gita. only the guitar. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. Gita. So open and see the language that is written in, anyway. See English. This is Hindu. Yeah, that is Sanskrit. The language is called Sanskrit. Oh. So Sanskrit is like the oldest language on the planet. Yeah. And uh, the ancient knowledge was written in that. Yeah. What is this language? Na, na du, eh. So then the Sanskrit is then written in the English alphabet. So you get a word for word translation. So the original thing, as you can see, is the Sanskrit language like that. When you put it in the English alphabet, it looks like that. Then there will be the translation of that. Yeah. Mr. Dalla, find some verse there to read, something in the bold, bold print. In the bold? No, let me start where I open. Okay. Yeah, text 8. I can, I can find no means to drive away this grief which is drying up my senses. I will not be able to disp dispel it even if I win a prosperous and rival the kingdom on earth with, with sovereignty like the demigods in heaven. Yeah, so that is Arjuna speaking. Before the, this book was spoken, there's supposed to be a war. If you open the back page there, oh, it doesn't show the picture. Yeah, this is, uh huh. So the war is to establish kings that push spirituality on the planet. But now this guy has to fight people he knows. Some of his relatives have sided with the other side. Can you imagine? So. Although they are on the other side, the wrong side of knowledge or religious principles, still he knows them. So he's thinking like, I, I don't know how I can get over killing people I know. And, and I'm thinking that I must just give up this warfare. That sounds like a good proposal, eh? Yeah, Pella, you can't live with that. You can't live uh, uh, with the fact that you kill people that you love. Yeah, with I mean, the fact you know. that you kill the relative, uh -huh. someone who was close to you. Uh -huh. You understand? So, so now, now let's say you are a soldier, soldier and South Africa has to fight. There's, a, for example, one side of the country says that bring back the death penalty, for example, and another says no. And then finally, to I, we have to fight it out. Now, cousin Yao and your friends from high school are on the other side of yes and no. <laughs> and then, Manje, we've all come to Bloemfontein. One side this side, another side this side. Yao. Do you think at that point it will be difficult to fight? Huh? I won't fight. It is many of us, I guess. Yes. Even if I stand aside, they will still fight. But me, I will be not no. fighting. So now, real soldiers, if they run from war, it's very embarrassing. People won't say, oh, you were being soft-hearted. They're going to say, uli kohala. So Krishna is telling Arjuna, look, you are a soldier. And as a soldier, you're supposed to protect people from harm. And the greatest harm is when they become lost to their souls 
So these guys must go. Plus Krishna Pillar being God, doing things for him, that's perfect activity. I understand. It's not so uh, easy, in other ways, you mean, uh, Hori, uh, in this example that you just gave me now, now, uh, uh, you mean, Hori, uh, they're in Bloemfontein. You, you can kill your cousins and your relatives because they are on the other side of the war. Yeah, war means like kill or be killed, basically. While you are thinking, oh, it's my cousin, I'll shower your cousin right in the eye. Because, yeah. yes. So the situation was like, before this war came, there were so many plans to defuse the tension. Everything had failed. Everything had failed. It's a nice picture. So, say, I have a question. Yes, please. With what you have just uh, taught us or told us Thank right now, mm. Hi, what is the message of today? Like, uh, I'm trying to, to yeah, get it, Mara. I don't... Not yet. Uh, okay. Not yeah. So, we opened a verse which was just telling us what will be spoken, the, the beginning of the whole thing. Uh, the message there... Here's a nice picture that it opened here. You see this picture? Yes, yes, yes. You can yes. just show it to the camera there. Exactly. Cool. So, so in, in this picture, picture what do you see happening? Uh, a child, an boy, a child, an infant, a toddler, a toddler. Has that happened to you? Yeah, I think I'm this in is this. Yeah, someone's Says la. I'm here. Yeah. Hey, this is like a, a family dream. <laughs> it's yeah. So everyone goes through these changes. But we are born to There's something that's not changing there, ne? What is not changing? What's inside you? Yes. Or the heart. So in the heart is is you and I. That's called the soul, the spirit. So at at death there. Aring pastor, Ari Aish, Mzwandi Leojon has gone. But at the funeral, you see there's something in the box there. How can the person be gone and at the same time we are at his funeral? Uh, they are burying his corpse again. Yes, so that means he is not that corpse. Yeah, he is the spirit. Exactly. So this book, Bhagavad Gita, is starting to teach us that we are not this body. Oh. We are the spirit inside. Yeah. And so from, from yeah. that level of knowing we are the spirit, then we want to live in such a way that we secure the future of me, the spirit. Because that future goes beyond this body. The future of the body is death. But then the spirit has to go beyond. You think it's a good book, important book? Yeah, it's a good book. I think I get the sense of where this book is going. So we are offering this book at room 203 at the Matrix here, at the Bhakti Yoga Society. We are giving it during the special for only 10 rands. 10 rand? Yeah. Like if... If you want to have I follow body. you now. Yeah. I can get it with ten rent. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but also you should follow my brother here. Yeah, yeah. It's a good yeah. Book. If you can read yeah. this one, you'll be very good. Ah, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah.